All right, so with the market recently pulling on back, how much money could you make with $10,000 investing, not in penny stocks, but in some of the most valuable companies that are currently publicly traded? I'm gonna be breaking it all down for you step by step with the entry, exit, stop loss, breaking down the risk to reward ratio using our risk calculator. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All I ask you to do is if you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a thumbs up and subscribing if you feel like we earned it. So first off, I plugged every trade that we're going to talk about today into our risk calculator. You guys could download it for free and it's gonna be the first link in the description down below. The first one we're going to talk about is Tesla. Uh, but even before we get into it, one thing that I quickly wanted to cover is, well, why would it ever make sense to buy right now? Now, first off, that's not what I'm saying, right? Because we do not know if markets are actually going to recover. But like Warren Buffett said, if your uh, intention is to invest, you wanna buy when markets are fearful and you wanna sell when markets are greedy. So there's no question markets have recently pulled on back, which have presented at least somewhat some deal opportunities. Now, this doesn't mean that the market has to recover but if it does, and if you were to go in with $10,000, how much could you potentially make? Now again, please make sure you refer back to our LPP lesson library where we talk about the three stages of a reversal because we are still not showing signs of confirmation, which means there is no confirmation to actually enter this trade. But again, you could always create a plan of action prior to taking a trade so if the market does begin to recover, you know exactly what to do and what exposure to risk it's going to come with. So the first one, Tesla. Plugging this into our risk calculator, we have Tesla with a desired entry of $200 per share, which is the current market price. The exit is based off of previous highs is 270. I put in 260, but let's say that again, I have a very outlandish goal of 270. Let's say that I think that Tesla's gonna go back to previous highs that we were at just a few weeks ago. That means that with my desired entry of 200, exit at 270, and of course, every trade comes at some form of risk. So if I manage my risk at $190 per share, giving me a $10 cushion, this would give me a seven to one risk to reward ratio. That's exactly what this is telling me here. And with 50 shares, which is roughly around $10,000, I could potentially make $3,500 and I could potentially lose $500 with this exact trade. Now, why is the risk to reward ratio method important? Well, the idea behind that is making sure that every opportunity you are taking advantage of offers greater upside versus lower downside. So a seven um, risk to reward ratio means for every 7% of potential profit, I have 1% of potential exposure to risk, which if you think about it, even if you have a very bad success rate, 20%, right? Out of every 10 trades you take, only two of them are in the green. You would still be in the green if you have a, had a stock or a focus of a seven to one ratio, which is one of my favorite things about this. The next one we're going to talk about is Amazon. Now, Amazon is, in my opinion, a little bit more of a safer play than Tesla. You guys let me know down in the comment section what you think. But from the current trade price of Tesla, if it does begin to recover based off of previous highs, this is gonna be about a 20% return. And plugging this into our risk calculator with a desired entry of 167, which is right around the current market price, 201, which is the previous all-time high, and we plan to cut losses with a $4 cushion, which is at 163. This would give us an 8.5 risk to reward ratio, which means 8.5% of potential profit and 1% of potential downturn. With 60 shares at 167, that's about $10,000. I could potentially make 20, uh, 20 uh, I'm sorry, $2,000, and I could potentially lose 240. So the thing that I love about this, and again, let me know down below, is have you ever taken a trade, you take it, and then you're down on the trade, it's not going exactly according to plan, and the dollar amount that you are down scares you. First off, you had no trade plan, and second, when you see how much it is you are down, it scares you and it you know, discourages you to cut losses because it's a shock factor. Well, that's the whole point of this risk calculator is to provide you with that exposure of exactly what you are exposing yourself to before you actually take the trade. So if while I'm planning this out, I'm not okay with losing $240 to potentially make $2,000, then I can make sure that I can change my trade plan 
and or not take the trade at all because I'm able to see my exposure to risk before actually taking it. And I think that's the biggest thing out of this entire video um, is as you begin to plan out what's gonna be your number one stock that you want to invest in uh, as the markets have pulled on back, that you can plan it out in advance so you, you know exactly your exposure to risk before you actually take it. The next one that I wanna talk about is of course the Nancy Pelosi stock, the greatest trader of all time, Nvidia. Nvidia is currently trading at the trade price of 104.75 and with previous highs of 140.75, this thing offers about a 30% return. Again, it's been um, added to a lot of people's top watch list if the market does continue to rally, which again, we do not know if it's going to, but if it does, how much money could you make? With a desired entry of 105, which is nearly at the current market price, desired exit of 140, nearly at previous all-time highs, and with, desi uh, with the desired cut losses of 100, meaning that if it breaks below 100, you cut losses, it has a seven to one risk to reward ratio, not bad, and then with 100 shares, which is roughly around $10,000, I could potentially make $3,500 and I could potentially lose $500. So again, I have my full exposure to risk and my full potential for profit plan before I actually take it. Now, the last one that I wanted to add, which is not the safest one, is TQQQ. It's a triple leverage ETF that does three times of whatever the NASDAQ market does. So if you are certain that the market's going to recover for whatever reason, right? and you wanted to make sure that you make money as markets begin to recover, this one, in my opinion, yields the greatest return. I do want to make you aware that if the market does continue to sell off, then this one, in the sense, would yield the greatest risk as well. But from a current trade price of 59 and previous highs of $85, how much money could you potentially make with $10,000? Plugging it into our risk to reward ratio at a $59 entry, which is below uh, or above the current market price, an $85 exit, which is right around previous all time highs, and planning to cut losses at $56, which gives you a $3 cushion to manage and mitigate risk, gives you a risk to reward ratio of 8.67 to one potential loss, right? So with 175 shares around $10,000, you could potentially make $4,500 profit and you could potentially lose $525 making TQQQ our greatest potential for profit, but also our riskiest stock in our entire trade plan. But one thing that you'll notice about all of these three uh, three stocks and one ETF is that all of them at least have a, a seven to one risk to reward ratio. And that's my question to you. How many times when you plan out your trade of where you plan to enter and where you plan to exit, how many times do you actually pay attention to what that risk to reward ratio is? And would it be valuable for you based off of your success rate to maybe pay a little bit more attention just to make sure that the trades that you are actually taking advantage of actually meet your criteria? The best analogy that I can give you is, let's say that you are someone that makes $30 an hour. Okay, well, your, your time is valued at $30 an hour, so therefore you wanna be paid $30 an hour. Well, what if I were to offer you $3 an hour? Would you work for me? You might be like, well, heck no. I know what my worth is. I know what, you know, opportunity, based off of opportunity cost, I know exactly what my time is worth. Well, when it comes down to your trading, why are you sometimes taking advantage of opportunities of $30 an hour, but then sometimes taking advantage of opportunities that only make you $3 an hour? And that's the whole idea, is to make sure that you focus on quality over quantity to make sure that you make sure that you only take advantage of opportunities that actually make sense and align with your criteria and align with your success rate. So again, we talk about this in a little bit more detail in the LPP lesson library. And if you're a complete beginner and you want access to being able to watch me trade live, that's going to be the second link in the description down below. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you guys wanna download that risk calculator, we provide it for you absolutely for free. And that's the first link in the description down below. If you have any questions after watching this video, feel free to comment down below. And I'd love to hear out of all the stocks we talked about, or even if it's one that we didn't talk about, what is one stock that you are paying attention to that you plan to invest in if markets do begin to recover? I'll see you on Monday for our live trading session. And to tune on in, it's the second link in the description down below. Take care team.